So Shin versus Jube Jube 56. If the connection's a bit bad though, guys, let me know because it might not be very good. Onomaru. Sorry, sorry, JJ. I'm really sorry. I got you confused there. That was me giving. I was giving you the giving you the yummy counters throw strike mix up there. Okay, so I've not seen Juju play before, to be honest, because I don't get against many Canadian players because I generally play at the wrong kind of times and the wrong kind of connections. So let me know how this is, Shub. Shin, rather. Shin starts out with a Helm Breaker. Did manage to beat, uh, did manage to win. It's uh, Onimari versus Arg, I think, the other match. Oh, has to block that, okay. Yep. Onimaru's super move. Absolutely ridiculous. Oh, that's a good option, though, from Juju. That is something I've been uh, discovering. And I've learned a bit of this matchup, actually. After getting rolled in it the other week. And there we go. Juju does take the first round. Very impressive stuff. Sorry, JJ. Yeah. I got, I got my names confused, to be honest. I can't tell. I can't tell a JJ from a Juju from a Super Jack. <laughs> I can, of course, tell you all the parts. So we got. I don't think Super Jack is from East Coast USA, if I remember correctly. Yeah, easy for Adam Agar to escape that though. Juju looking very strong here with the Agar. Could Shin have met his match here? With the Onimaru, so I was saying this is a very interesting matchup, very controversial one. For me at least. Oh, okay, parries it, but yeah, somehow some Argos know how to hit, hit Onimaru anyway. Maybe there's a lot of lag, I don't know, but yeah, that pr just pr like predictive supers from, from Onimaru, really strong. Where's your honor? Doesn't get the juggle though. Small mistake, but Shin doesn't make the same mistake twice. Can't stop that chop. Going in, he's going slicing and dicing. Juju with a good block. Blocks again, very strong, very nice. Now it's going to be very hard for Ronnie Murray to make the most of this uh, guard break situation. That should Palmer crush that and get two points of damage. Good strong counter. Oh, no escape from that guard, crushing the corner. No, a risky move there. I'm not sure I like that from Shin. Don't feel like he needed to do that. This is going to be a chip finish. Yeah, Jube Jube finishing him off. Pushing him away with that one throw. Yeah, sorry, Super Jack from Texas. So definitely not East Coast then. So I guess, uh, depends which part of Texas, but I guess sort of Central. I know that might not be technically accurate, but it... Oh, what an escape from Juju. Showing the tech here. Oh, so you keep your bubble on to float over his head. An interesting technique here from Juju. Something we've never seen before. And finally, Shin gets the grips with him. Shin underscore. This is crazy stuff, guys. So it is Judge Dredd, not, Jay, not Jack Daniels. Oh, I really want some Jack Daniels now, though. Why do you have to say that to Richard Scorpion? Imagine Judge Dredd with Ju Judge, Judge Dredd drinking Jack Daniels. I think he would drink. Judge Dredd would drink. He'd dr he'd suppose he'd drink it. Oh, my goodness, the damage! Shin, it's one more hit. Gets it. Okay. Gets it around seven. This is quite an epic match already, these two. Hopefully the connection's good between them. That's the sort of trade that drives me crazy when I'm arguing guard. Notice Juju not trying to anti-air on Imaru because you kind of can't. That's what I discovered. You've got to anti-air him with forward A's and fishes? Like you can't use your limbs? Yeah, no anti-air for you. There we go. Yeah, okay. So that's the setup there. Bluefish um, after the uh, super. But hard crush! 
too much damage in the corner. Shin pulls it back. An impressive victory. Jubu, very, very impressive, though. We saw some amazing stuff. It wasn't to be. Okay, so you've got five characters here. Got to be different characters, but you can mirror match if you want to. Yeah, Ground Super is such a good anti air. I agree, JJ Tam. Stuff you can do with his Ground Super now is absolutely stupid, in my opinion. Guys, me, as I said, oh, I think we've got a. Uh, I think we'll have to reconnect to this. I think we've, yeah, we've definitely, we've gone into the mirror of the crazy world. Let's try and get back into this. Okay, okay, okay. The favorite world is the wacky reverse world. Let's look, have a look at it. There, oh, we saw it briefly. Round two, fight. So Shin did get the first round here against Midori. Dory, very difficult to get out of these situations again. Yep, guard crush for three, four, five, six. No escape. Drives me crazy, guys. I do feel Midori has a few options. No, backing off is a mistake in my opinion. That's the one you need. She doesn't get the full damage though. Juju mashing that button a little bit too fast. With the grab, but no way to say. Oh, here's a way to take advantage of it. Shin Nai with jumping time. Mix up dragon time. That hitting behind. Why does he have it? Oh, I was going to say, dragon swoop can cut. Talon swoop there can sometimes work. Okay, just wanting to wait out the dragon form there. Not waiting to risk. Not risking it by going in. That can sometimes work, but not if he's on the ground. Oh, oh, how did. Mm, not sure that big walk away from Jube Jube, but it, it works out. They get in range for a jump attack and get around, stealing that one, really. I thought Shin had that under control, but no. Good block and punish into the grab. I like it. No, jump back Helmbreaker. Deals with that one nicely. Dragon form to see what's coming. Dragon Buster to deal with all options there. Very nice. And another one. Best, uh, best Shin could have got there with some trades. Yeah, dra Dragon Form at the right time can give you some very nice options against Onimaru. It is true. You still feel like you're playing Onimaru's game, which is why it feels so bad. I mean, both rush down characters. Oh, no. No escape for you. Maneuver. No maneuvering. And, oh, wow. The Dragon mix-ups now. Jube Jube takes the lead here. Three to two, but he's only got one millisecond of Dragon Form left. Can he avoid, yeah, he can avoid the sweep, though. Great parry. Wow, yeah. If you're in range to parry. Walk up, grab. Jube Jube getting cheeky now. Oh, my God. The, the hunt down into the forward eight. Everything going Jube Jube's way. Finally, Shin gets the read, though. Good block there from Jube Jube. No time to parry. And I love the butt slam. Yeah, that's, my, that's one of my Midori tricks, actually. Very, very, very nice. So it is now one apiece. Sticking on Omaru, of course, because he's got to. Who's going to be the next character? Lom. Next character's going to be Lom. Very interesting choice. I don't not. I don't like Lom against Onimaru. I think it's a real struggle because the range at which your items become optimal is also slicing and chopping range for Mr. Swordsman. And I do think we've been bumped out again in the first round. Unfortunately, my connection to Canada. And uh, Jube Jube 56 or 56, not looking that great at the moment. Hopefully Shin is getting a clean connection. Back with you in one second, guys. Round two, fight. Right, so I'm off the mic for a moment there. I'm still here. Good super there from Shin. A lot of items coming in though. He's gonna have to deal with all these children. Spirit fire, blow my enemy, blow my enemies up. I'll say sky high. Out and conquer for two hits. It has armor. It slices. It dices. It anti airs. It hits behind you. It hits 360 degrees. Why is that button so good? Anti air and gets another damage. Might have been able to get four actually. 
And some of the anti airs you can get with Onimaru are absolutely ridiculous now. And one Yami counter is basically game over if Onimaru, in my, generally in my experience, Onimaru gets one Yami counter, he wins that round every time. Okay, Shin gets the jump back. Okay, I'm going to have to watch for that one. That's something I even I can do. Bunga bunga button time. Swing him, and that's five. Four, sorry, four damage. Didn't go for the super. Didn't think he needed it. And that's two more. And the style in with the super. Didn't even need it. Styles with the martial law. Shin looking very, very, very strong. I did say Lom is a big struggle against Onimaru, and that's exactly why. Grave against Onimaru. Again, I think... Uh, and this game, though, is for like Jeep Jeep representing here for you Canadians out there. I think you do an unblockable round six. Oh my goodness! Probably again, we're going to miss the first round, guys. Let's. Hmm. Shall I hang on this menu or not? Let's try watching Jeep Jeep and see if that works better. Out. I don't know what what's going on with my uh, connection. I know Shin's had connection problems in the past to some people. And I don't get matched with him that often, despite us both being a master rank. And, um... Oh, are we in? Are we in? Is Argagarg low, low tier trash? No. I rate Argagarg. So, we, uh, well, I'll put it up on YouTube for you. Uh, I'm going to pronounce your name. V Valaya. Round three. Welcome to the stream, Valaya. Um... <laughs> But ev everyone, everyone's viable. Like, every character's good. I really rate Argagog right now. I think he's pretty strong against a lot of people. And he's all right against Onimaru, which is why... Like, if, you, if you're really good at Onimaru, I think, I think Onimaru beats him. But, like, I do think he's got options. And it was the, uh, it was the Oni Gang Tawny that taught me this. Oh, nice Yami counter stare down from both players. Argagog is just very, very hard to play with, though. Arguably the hardest character in the game to, to kind of get to grips with. Oh my goodness. No forward A for you. Shin can punish that with the martial law. But does get escape with the cross up. Two damage to Anesh. Swords the swordsman. But gets a helm breaker for two damage. Yeah. One one parry against Grave. Or one Yami counter. It doesn't even need it. Guard crush. No escape. Probably should have kept the... Uh, our, and our ground, yeah. Best reversing it. Our ground super. You need to learn how to do it. People say he's only got two buttons that are good. I don't agree. I think all his tools. I think his neutral is really strong as well. Forward A really useful. Like, come on. Come on. Believe in the Argagar guys. Believe in the fishy fighter. Oh, wow. Okay. Escape the Ansiev. It still gets grabbed anyway. Shin going absolutely ham now. Because that's what you do. Oh, and a trade. That's a trade in Jube Jube's favour. Round six. Fight. Armor breaks. Win from that range? No, that oh no, what a counter! Jube Jube had it ready. Oh, Antia there. That's some uh, high tech, high, high tier skills from Shin. And that again, the style finish. Shin now has will win this set. Three wins. Oh, sorry. Well, we're not really a set. But Grave, uh, his uh, Onimaru will get at least three wins. So showing he's very strong. So the final character here. Who is Jujube going to go with? I'm not sure they said that. He's going to go mirror match. And I don't blame him. Busted Onimaru. Unbeatable Onimaru here. <laughs> yeah, obviously, I don't think that, guys. I did promise Round that I wouldn't uh, embellish anything Fight. for the stream. I will make it as least entertaining as possible. No embellishments. Oh, and I lied, guys. Of course I'm going to embellish things. Oh, the parry's low. Shit. Oh, sorry, Tube Tube. I'm getting confused now. Who is who? Onimaru versus Onimaru. Tube Tube's had enough. Of the styling that Shin's been putting on him. Putting on the style himself there with the finish. Shin interrupts there with the back A. Guard break. What? 
No, no counter confirmed there. That doesn't work. Neutral to C does work on counter hit, but forward A doesn't. Providing Conk, it only gets one anti-air. Gets the grab though after two, after two bumps. He's minus, I believe. Is how, I can't remember how it works. Spirit fire for the guard break. Super, no escape. Jube Jube looking strong now in the mirror match. True gorilla battle in the jungle, says Clobbering Rush. I agree completely. It is gorillas going at it. Unga Bunga. One Unga man. See the Arga Garg tips, right? Maybe I'll play a round of Arga Garg after this. Big count hits. Shin gets around on the board here. Yeah, getting out your air super in this mirror match can be very strong if you can get it in a good situation there. Great anti airs. Jube Jube really on point with that back A. So is Shin, though. High level play from both of these, to be honest. Jube Jube smartly walking away. Ah, and gets the count, gets, wins the swing. Don't mean a thing if you ain't got that swing. No, the parry lasted, outlasted the super and the trade. Not in Jujube's favor there. Shin will take it on the trade. Shin clawing this one back, slicing this one back, sorting it back. Samurai power here on display for you. Gorillas in the jungle. Gorillas in the mist. There's no mist on this screen. There's only roboteers. Stand by. The big swing from Shin, dealing with them very easily. Juju gets the answer though. Ground super proving to be way more effective than the air super so far from the looks of it. How is it? But and the Shin just had that setup. He knew that exactly what he wanted. Baited for and got. And Juju keep up that impressive display. It's been very close to be honest. Runs into the alarmingly long throw range. Just out of range though. Juju missing by a pixel there. What? Armors through the super. This time he is in range. Stops the parry. Just and the swing. It's going to a final round. Onimaru versus Onimaru. Oni Oni Gang versus Oni Gang. Maybe Juju was an Oni main all along. So yeah, not sure about this air super use in the mirror. It's looking like Onimaru with if he's got super himself. Spirit Fire punished from Shin. Four, three hit points down. And then a guard crush. And the parry. No, it's Shin wins it with a fully charged martial law. What a set there, guys. Very impressive stuff. Juju, though, really showing his skills with a bunch of characters there, to be honest. Very impressive stuff. Very cool to see.